welcome back to the show. Connor Pope is stuck with us to answer your consumer queries while Owen Klutsky from Bread41 creates some culinary magic. And you are. Owen, what are you making? Well, I think he's only staying for a slice of cake, yeah, is what he told right me. I'm not answering any questions. <laughs> Unless there are, would you like some pie? You will get your cake if you answer the question. <laughs> We're going to actually just build a cake. So what I've gone ahead today, guys, is I've gone ahead and I've baked off a base. Very, very simple. I've baked it off and I've blind baked it. A lot of questions we get. How do you blind bake? Very simple. We have greaseproof paper and we've got some rice. No need to go out buy baking beads and stuff like that. Look what's in the press, use that. And as you can see, I've just baked it for 10 minutes. So what is in your base, Ellen? So the base is a simple, it's simple pastry, sweet pastry. It's uh, we use spell flour in the bakery. Um, if you're into making pastry, I'd love everyone to try and make it. If they can't, shop bought, the only really time I'd really like to try. But people get confused with pastry. With pastry, Roll a tick if it works for you and it's easy and it mm. holds the end, it saves that soggy bottom, that whole thing. So really, really easy. I'm going to build it. A bake well, starting with jam. Right. Mm. Okay. Homemade? homemade. Always homemade, yeah, sorry, always homemade. And this is really good. Um, when making jam as well, predominantly jam is like 50-50, fruit and sugar. So I actually like a loose jam, so I tend to drop the sugar a little bit back and you can add it in after. And then and is just... that kind of mixed? Oh, no, you've gone for black currant. Yeah, so this was just what was in season. So we had them in season, we froze them, and then we tend to just go to the freezer when we need jam and we make it there. That's a good so, idea. To well, yeah, them. really, really different. Again, using some more seasoning. Can I just ask, does it take long to make the jam? No, it doesn't really, because it's one of those things you can just leave simmering away, keep an eye on it. Now, I'm not simmer and boil, they're different, so we got to okay. be very careful. But yeah, let it cook away. And it's that smell in the house, there's always something going on. It's really, really nice. No, it's not. It's about a 20 minute, 30 minute make. Okay. There we go. Do you make a big batch or do you just make like a couple of jars? Big batch. Always big batch. And it, do you know what? It's, you go, it, when we're allowed to go to the parties again, go to the party, bring a jar of jam. Get it there. Lovely. So I'm going to pop in some apples next. I'm just, and what I'm actually doing is I'm just building layers and layers of flavour. Right. Okay. So you go thin enough, really, with the apple slices? Yeah, thin enough. You, I mean, you want them to cook, if they're really, really taking the time. So have, consciously think about that and look like this. Almond cream. So this is the consistency when you're making almond cream we're looking for. So almonds, ground almonds, butter, two eggs, a little bit of sugar, and just whisk, whisk up. Okay, next. I'm going to get all this in. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm right. taking the... And the could you use cut. that almond cream in anything else? Well, I don't want to say that the recipe that we have shared online might consist of almond croissants. Oh, so um, we get them That's in there. Pipe into the croissants, is it? Yeah, it's 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 very very similar. Yeah. Oh wow! Should and we just starving now. Time goes before we start the show. Yeah. <laughs> and fill it up, and we're gonna go a little pallet knife. Here we go, and it's important when you're. Doing your base, look at this. Bring it all the way around to the edge. Now, I never really fill it up, up high because when, when it's cooking, it's going to rise up. Okay. So, ground almonds, two yeah. eggs. So, the like a packet. Is on the, yeah. So, okay. so, equal quantities of ground almonds and sugar. And then we'll have three eggs. And then you're just mixing it to uh, that consistency we're looking for. Mm. Now, again, soft butter. This is the thing when okay. people bake, they tend to go for pastry, it requires a colder butter. For like fillings, don't go kill yourself with a really hard butter. Okay, so take so, the butter out of the yeah, place. Yeah, take the butter out. Prep, I always yeah. say this to people in baking, prep is key. It's, 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 especially with baking, because if you're halfway through and you go, oh, I don't have that, where is it? And you're running around looking for it. Yeah. Things are cooking, things are going off. So yeah, prep is key. Okay. Okay, we're kind of watching with yeah. hungry eyes. Again, apple again. Oh, another layer. A little bit of apple. No, it doesn't layer, just on. No, I only sliced these about 15 minutes ago. You can see the colour. Yeah. So a little trick, you can add some water, some lemon juice, it will, it will stop them discolouring. But okay. with the bake well, we're not, too, we're not overly concerned about this. And what kind of apples did you use? Um, this comes from the barter system at Bread 41, so we, oh, we yeah, encourage people to bring um, apples in and uh, get a barter going for a couple of loaves of bread. So these just came off a lovely customer. That oh, they right. had on their own tree? Yeah, so like, yeah, we, their own tree to bring in. Unfortunately, um, for some reason, unbeknown to me, we import 90% of apples to Ireland. Why? So really, yeah, why? So really encouraging to ask people to look. I, I know people with apple trees, they let the apples grow, they fall, they rot. So I'm saying, bring them into me, we'll use them. So let's go. There you go, turn yeah. your apples, spread 41. Now, what we're doing next is uh, uh, flaked almonds. On we go. Now we're towards the end of the season of the apples, but still getting some in, actually. We're having good weather, so it's really, really good. Now, pop it in an oven, 200, no 180, okay? And it's gonna need 20 minutes. Right, now you're putting that on the bottom. Is that? Fan oven, so heat's Fan coming oven. from the back. So don't be really too concerned if it's high and low. Okay. Ideally, anywhere, anywhere it works. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Now, next up here is one I made earlier. Uh, I took the easy route. Look at this, fabulous. 
Now, what 20 done, minutes later, that's 20 what minutes later, it's gone. We're going to allow it to cool. And then what we do is with the apples is, so with all the little cores we have left, we juice them. Okay, we make apple juice, and then what we do is we cook the apple juice down. And I call this, it, it's like nectar, it's gold. So it's apple syrup. We add a tiny bit of sugar, and then you're working completely to zero waste, and it's delicious. So we brush the cake with this at the end. Oh, so. yum. And what this actually does is not only does it add flavour, it keeps the cake fresher for longer. Does it? Yeah. Always because the cake. glass, I think, is what makes it look professional. Like that, just looks yeah. Well, it used so to be done with like a sugar syrup and stuff like that. But I think when you're building, again, when you're baking, I always look at bacon same as I look at cooking. When a chef's cooking, he's looking to build flavors. He's he's layering up dishes. So building a cake is the exact same concept. It's like so we have jam at the bottom. We went apple. We went almond. We went apple again. Now we're going flaked almonds and finishing with apple. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Absolutely really good. Delicious.